Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. I'll uh, turn discuss further into the hashtag Tindry137, the online cryptic series of alien math puzzles. And now look at part seven, which is in the calculation of their name. And I'll get to that in a bit. So yeah, as yeah, part seven of the series, make sure to check out my earlier videos on it. And now let's just dive right in and look at this part seven. So now let's take a look at the calculation in page 15 of the hashtag Tindry137 document. So if you go to page uh, 15 of this uh, Tindry137.wikia.com translation, yeah, of these cryptic series of documents site there. If you go there, here's page 15. It looks something like this. We've got some cryptic writing. And if you zoom in, there's a calculation there. And then the more cryptic writing. And then someone's translated it. And it states, if you are not convinced, then calculate the next number and see what a proof is provided to you, Adam. Uh, find all numbers and understand what this uh, this may mean. Decimals have their own meaning. A repetitive interval of exact 46. Yeah, so it's a repetitive interval. 46. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the repeating pattern. I'll get to that in a bit. This interval is not arbitrary, so it's not random. And here's a calculation. Someone just put them down in regular text. 2 times 23 times 49. Um, 499 times uh, this giant 1 times this giant number across and divided by three times etc and here I've uh, copied and pasted that right here just to double check their work we yeah, it is actually exact two five three one two five three one etc so that's the calculation so this is a calculation to show you our knowledge and our wisdom the calculation of our name is not accidental what is the probability of randomness of this calculation question mark uh, do you think that everything is just a coincidence who among you can write our name there where it is written now? Has anyone this power? Only Tindri is capable to do this. Our word is not a farce. <laughs> our knowledge is not a lie. You waited centuries for our visit. You waited in intelligence. Uh, yeah, you waited in intelligence which talks in mathematical equations with you. Now we are here and contact you. We are waiting for your answer. Uh, yeah, we waiting for your answer. Adam. And then someone uh, was commentating on this document and says, poor information. Now we are, now we look deep in this riddle, uh, read this message often. The creators of this riddle call us Adam, the result of the calculation, and all numbers are prime numbers. In fact, these are actually all prime numbers. I checked uh, every one of these are prime, and we'll get to that in a bit. And also, here's that 46 intervals. Someone actually calculated, and again, I double checked this is right. So 00729, et cetera, all the way across, and then starts repeating. It's actually it's supposed to be two more zeros, then then starts repeating. But actually, yeah, you could still look at it this way. So that's, that's correct as well. So yeah, we have it like that, and then it just repeats on and on. There's that uh, 00729, et cetera, goes to here, 00729, et cetera, and it just keeps going on and on. So, and then someone explained this. Let's explain what these numbers may mean. 0.00729735, etc. Find structure constant. 137, 33, a 33rd prime number inverse. Find structure constant, roughly 1 divided by 37. There's 666, number of the beast, 77, seven, seven, number of God, 888, number of Jesus. And then you have pi is at 3141592. And then there's a golden ratio, 1618. And then the speed of light in a vacuum, 2972948, etc. And then someone's saying the period of 46 decimals may be for the number of human chromosome. Uh, question mark. You will see on the last page, page 23, molecules. These are DNA and RNA molecules. We think 46 is a human chromosome. We are baffled and wondering who this or, or how this calculation works. This is a powerful message, a calculation of the name. The creators tell us that the calculation of the name is not by random. <laughs> Alright, so now let's take a closer look at this by using the hashtag amazing Wolfram Alpha calculator. So here's that calculation. If you use Wolfram, if you ever check it out, it's absolutely amazing. Let's just click it just to show you uh, how it is. And if you do that, and I have that entire calculation, put that inside here. 
And then basically it there it puts it neatly like this and this wolfram alpha dot com and there's the input two times twenty three etc. There's the exact result that multiplies it all out. You have the top numerator two twenty four three two etc. Keeps going on and the bottom notice it's all three 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 which is very interesting. There's decimal approximation. You can click more digits and it'll give you more digit. Keeps going on and on and etc. And it's a repeating decimal right here. And there's that seven two nine. Uh, all the way up to here, and there's 46 period, and it's uh, there's other stuff, there's a percentage and other continued fraction, other random forms, and it's actually pretty cool. If you click on fraction form, so that's a pretty cool one divided by one, uh, 37 plus one divided by 27 plus one divided by etc. That's pretty cool. So anyway, let's just close this, and I've uh, copied and pasted my results. So if you want to play around with the calculations, I put all the links in here, and you can download these exact notes. So this is pretty. Pretty damn cool. So let's look at this. So yeah, when you put that giant calculation inside, you have this, and then it in fact does have that 46 repeating, uh, repeating pattern across there. There's a 46. This one just uses yeah. You could either go from seven all the way to zero zero there, or zero zero all the way to eight. It doesn't matter. Same thing. And uh, thus we do have in fact all the constants contained in a 46 digit repeating pattern. There's that seven two nine seven three five. Etc. 666, 777, 888, and uh, so on. There's pi 31415, etc. It keeps going on. So we have all those numbers. Also note that the calculation does contain all prime numbers. I've double checked uh, these ones. These are all prime numbers. I'll get to that in a bit. And note that a prime number is a number that is only divisible by one in itself, such as seven. So for example, seven, you can only divide that evenly by seven or one. Another number is three and uh, 11, uh, etc. So now let's look at pattern in numbers. So after playing around with the numbers, I realized the trick that hashtag turn 137 did, and it now is in fact from this calculation at the bottom, it's all 33333. Three, 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 three. Very interesting here, very, very interesting. So it's actually pretty simple when you have access to a super amazing calculator, such as a Wolfram Alpha calculator. So consider the following. If you just put 1 divided by 9 in that calculator, it's irreducible. Just that's the minimum fraction you can get. And the decimal approximation is 0.11111, etc. It keeps going on infinite times, and the period is 1. So we just have 1 repeating on and on. And now if you put 1 divided by 99, look at what happens. And I'll explain maybe this in later videos. But notice what happens. So 1 divided by 99, you get 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now you have a period of 2. So that's pretty cool. Now if you put three nines, and then as expected, you get a period of three. So zero zero one, zero zero one, or you, or they have it, they write it like this. So one zero zero, so one zero zero, hundred, hundred, etc. And repeats on and on. Now if you put forty six nines, forty six of these, one divided by nine 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 nine, etc. What you get is a period of forty six. This is one times ten to the power of negative forty six. Or you can just look at it. From here, notice there's, there's how many zeros there are, and all the way to the one. So there is 46. There's going to be that means that's 45 zeros, and then there's a one there. So notice the difference, and this is a period. So this keeps repeating on and on. Notice the amazing pattern. We can create. Yeah, this just means then that we can create repeating patterns simply by dividing any number. Uh, yeah, by dividing any number by nines, or dividing by any number of nines, that makes a bit more sense. Hashtag amazing. So this works with any numerator. Number numerator is the top, for example, one, and then the denominator is the bottom. And this is again as long as the denominator is larger than the numerator. So we have a just a fraction that's uh, not a yeah, just a, just a basic fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator, such as one one divided by nine. Etc. or three divided by nine, etc. As long as it's less than it. In this case, you have a bunch of nines. You could even put a bunch of ones, etc. So now consider the following. So if you put this in the calculator, so if you put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine divided by nine nines, because I want uh, I want this larger than the numerator, so that it's bigger than it. So this is greater than this. So yeah, so that's put some arrows like that. So what we end up having is as expected, because number any number works. This just means now we have a nine a period, nine nine number period, because there's nine nines. And now we put this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it works with any number. So now we get 
a period of uh, 9 right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And notice here in decimal approximation, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there you go. There is a repeating repeating pattern. Now to get the zeros on the right side only, we could, we could simply add zeros to the num numerator. So if we add two zeros here, this one, but then we'll need to add this number. This denominator always has to be bigger than the numerator. We get 11 nines here. So we put two zeros there, then that just means we have two zeros to the right of the number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 0, and it's a period of 11. So with those zeros. To get zeros on the left side, we could just add zeros to the denominator. So if we put it zeros across here, then that just means we're just going to be moving from the left here. So all we do is divide by an extra 100. So there's the two zeros there. And then there's the same period of nines like that. And yeah, instead of a period of, uh, yeah, there's nine nines. Even though there's zero, zero, that just make, moves it to the right. And unlike the above one where we had a period of 11. Now to get zeros on both sides, we could just add more nines. <laughs> So if we have that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then we have 11 nines. We didn't add any zeros anywhere. And now we have a zero on this side. And we have zeros across there. So there's the pattern. And there's a period of 11 because we have 11 nines at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. It's basically using the number nines. So now that we have this pattern sorted, let's use the number that hashtag Tindri137 used. So if we put their giant number 729, etc., all the way, you have the 888, 88, I mean 666888, put that inside here, put in uh, 46 uh, nines. So if you put 46 nines, and there you go, we have our pattern just by putting this 729. This is a simplified version because this is actually uh, simplifies it down to 333, and there's actually an exact number. That's actually exact. I'll get to that in a bit. So now that what we have is... Uh, this whole thing, 729 all the way, divided by 99999. And then we have 00729 all the way, 6667788, etc. And then it goes all the way, and uh, it goes past that. It goes all the way to 4500 and the 46 period, and it keeps repeating. So there's our number. And also note, hovering over each calculation gives the option to view plain text, which makes it easy to copy and paste. So if you hover over any of these, is a plain text option, uh, option, so you can easily copy and paste that and, you, and work with very large numbers. And now to obtain the prime numbers, we need to perform prime factorization of the numerator and the denominator. Because now what we have is, so we've managed to get this pattern, and we've also managed to simplify this pattern. Just by putting in the calculator, we get the simplified version 24, and there's threes instead of the nines. So now we have to do prime factorization. To illustrate a quick example of what I mean, consider the number 30. If we wanted to find out uh, the factors in it, so we just divide this up. This is going to be 15. This is 2. So then this, is, this can't get any smaller, but this can go to 5 and 3. So this means now that, and these are just factors, because you can't simplify these anymore. So this means that 30 is equal to 5, put an arrow like that, 5 times 3 times 2. So yeah, so 5 times uh, 3 is 15 times 2 is, is um, you know, all, that, all that together is 30. So there's our prime factorization. And also note that we can also have unique factors. I mean, uh, not unique, yeah, non-unique uh, factors. I mean, for example, consider the number 9. You can split the 9 into 3 and 3. So this just means that 9 is equal to 3 times 3. So these are both factors. You can't get any lower than that. The same thing is writing 3 to uh, 3 squared. So they don't need to be unique like that. And now if you want to learn more about prime factorization, you can check out this website, mathsisfun.com. So why find prime numbers on this prime factorization article they have? So a prime number can only be divided by 1 or itself, so it cannot be factored any further. Every whole number can be broken down into prime number factors. It is like the prime numbers are the basic building blocks of all, all numbers. This idea can be very useful when working with big numbers such as cryptography. So that's pretty amazing. So check out that site to learn more. So now let's take a look at what, what we have so far in our Tindri puzzle. So we put that giant, whatever number this was, 729, all the way across here. There's a 6667778888 divided by 46 nines like that. So when we divide by 46 nines, and also there's a simplified version, there's a 24, and then there's a 333 in, uh, inside like that, and we get this repeating pattern 
across your for period of 46. So luckily for us, the Wolfram calculator is super amazing, can do prime factor factorizations of very large numbers very easily. So we'll take a look at the, the numerator of this one and then the denominator of this one. So if you would just type in factor, even if you just copy and paste that number in, and then what it will do, we'll, <laughs> we'll split this up into, well, the, it will do prime factorization inside. So I'm not gonna explain how they do it, but basically it's, it's very similar to what I was doing above in that, those simple examples. And they also show there's 32 prime divisors. This is absolutely amazing. You can divide that number by all this. And this one's super quick, you just pull, put this in. And this is in fact the exact same one that Tindry used. Same thing with the bottom, three, 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 et cetera. Just factor it, we have a prime factorization like that. And just copy and paste those in here. So that's what we have is two times 23 times 49, et cetera. These are all prime factors divided by three times 11, et cetera, all the way across here, which is exactly the same as the hashtag Tindry137 calculation. And there you go, you see two times 23, 49, 499, two times 23, 499. So there's the ones, there's the ones and it's pretty straightforward. So it appears that, um, you know, fix this. So it appears that, yeah, Tintry may have been overhyping this calculation a bit too much, especially with that Wolfram calculator. It makes it working with large numbers super easy. I may also look at some other cool calculations, so stay tuned to see what I discover. And also I wanna quickly finish up my custom calculation from above. So we have that one, two, three, four, all the way to nine, divided by nine, 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 these are 11 nines, so that we have zeros across here. And here, and there's a repeating, et cetera, like that, repeating period of 11. We get this simplified version across here, instead of nine, nine, nines, it simplifies to one, 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 so this just means the top divides by nine evenly and then what we have is if we put this in Wolfram uh, Alpha the top is 137142 that's this number we get this prime factorization 3607 and then the bottom one 11111 uh, it's 11 ones across here we get 21649 times 5132 so this means that well we have this number period of 11 is the same thing as writing 3607 times 3803 and these are all prime factors and uh, yes <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing uh, same thing as above so this could be pretty useful for uh, trying to do some uh, cryptic messages you want to send someone you can send them a calculation like this or if they knew that you just plug it into a calculator and then you get this these numbers like this one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you could uh, have some sort of custom definitions for each number. So, so anyways, that's all for today. If you learned from this uh, video on this uh, Tindry's name, and basically it's prime factorization and working with the dividing by nines, which is amazing uh, for repeating patterns and basic control, whatever you want. And uh, again, you could just work around with this. You could put any number you want. You could put Tindry's uh, name in there <laughs> or their overhyped name. And uh, yeah, play around with that Wolfram Alpha. It's absolutely amazing. This is what I suggest. That's probably <laughs> that's probably alien technology. <laughs> but anyways, uh, play around with that. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, so basically, the calculation of their name. I believe they overhyped uh, <laughs> just how difficult it was and <laughs> and uh, arbitrary. Well, you could just put those numbers in and see what happens. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math. Easy solution.